cricket is as much as a psychological game as it is technical and tactical. If you observe at the highest level, every other player has the skills and techniques to meet the requirement. But it's the players who are mentally strong and who put their opponents under pressure all the time tend to come on top always. So here are a few ways that could help you put pressure on your opponents as a bowling unit. Whenever you are on the field as a bowling unit, it's always 11 versus 2. So it's all the more easier to put a lot of pressure on the batters and to pick wickets on a regular basis. Here's what you need to do. Be on your toes. If you are fielding, ensure that you walk in for every ball and attack by throwing flat throws to the wicket keeper after you field the ball. Also, it is extremely important for the wicket keepers and the fielders who are closer to the batter to be extremely vocal. This will prevent them from taking those quick singles and help it help your side in accumulation of dot balls. And more dot balls may, might make the batter play a fall shot and get out. Here is tip number two. Never be hesitant to set up an attacking or an unconventional field set. If you are confident as a bowler or as the captain that the, your bowler is bowling one particular line very, very consistently, make a, your best fielder stand on those side of the field where the bowler is actually bowling. For example, if your bowler is bowling consistently on off stump and outside off stump, you can have a 7-2 field, which is 7 fielders on the off side and 2 fielders on the leg side. When the batters see an open leg side field against a moving ball, they could tend to play false shots and this might actually help your team to get a wicket. Let me tell you an example of what happened in one of our matches. An off spinner was bowling and she was getting a considerable amount of turn against her right hand batter. So what we did was we swapped the mid wicket fielder from mid wicket area to the cover point region and the batter after seeing the mid wicket region empty the next ball went moved across and went for a shot to be played in the mid wicket region and due to the turn of the ball she got an inside edge and she was bold this field change made the batter to see the empty areas and that induced a fall shot so never ever be hesitant to set an attacking or an unconventional field as the final yet the most effective and important tip be very fast between overs Ensure that the fielders jog between their overs and take the positions quickly. This limits the discussion time that the batters can have and it can also limit how much they analyze their game. Also, every batter at, who walks in after the fall of a wicket will have some butterflies in their tummy before they face their first ball to their comfort. So, be re ensure that your fielders are ready and the bowler is ready to start their run up just as the striker takes guard to face their first delivery. This adds the pressure that has already been made due to the fall of the wicket.